if you think that that sounded even remotely like the first drop from Seven Lions Stop Thinking, then I would love it if you could like this video, subscribe for more content. Okay, let's go. I think that the lead from this song sounds almost identical to that of language, so I worked on recreating the language patch. Um, it's a distorted super saw. You can see all of the serum settings here. For the effects, I'm using a lot of saturation, OTT, some EQ, and I'm gonna fade in meta flanger at the very end of the drop. I kind of heard this like counter melody. It could just be in my head because of the second drop, but I added uh, a counter melody section here as well. So all together it sounds like this. Oh, I also added white noise. I'm almost positive that the chords are not perfect, but this is what I heard. I'm heavily saturating. Um, I'm actually maxing out OTT. And I think the trick to getting this drop right was um, adding a lot of reverb, a lot of feedback. Um, that was sort of the thing that I think I was missing. Some EQ, and then additional reverb, compression, limiter. Duck is what I'm using for the LFO. Um, LFO tool works fine, as well as the Ableton LFO. The stack is just three sets of uh, varying super saws and then this garbled mess that uh, came out of the audio to MIDI conversion that I thought actually sounded kind of um, nice with the rest of it. Patches here for the super saws. I have a sub here and then I also have a mid bass. The mid bass I am adding saturation but that's it. The song has an incredible amount of feedback throughout the drop, so to expand on the amount of feedback that I could create, I created this um, collection of ambience tracks. These are re-recordings of my chords and uh, run through various effects. A little bit of vocal um, sound thing. The drums were the only thing that I didn't really try to get exactly right. Um, I played drums and I felt like the drums in this song were not incredibly interesting. They're actually super basic, so I decided to add a little bit of additional color that I thought complemented the song. I almost never use sends in my own music, but I felt like because the reverb throughout this song felt so intense, I wanted to add a send with Valhalla Shimmer just to give the song a bit more of that like spacey effect that uh, runs throughout the, the drop. The master is a multi-brand compression limiter and uh, just like some, some EQ. That's about it. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I will be totally responsive to that. In addition, I have my own music. You can check it out here, Spotify, SoundCloud. I'll link it.